Hello everyone, welcome to Progress Nomad Junior. I am Mr. Essen, and this is an app animated tutorial on how to read and change properties of a component in blocks. For that, I'm going to be using an app called Hidden Kitten, and I'm going to look for my kitten uh, in these three places. Uh, let's try the house first. She's not in the house. So let's try for her in the car. Good job, you found the kitten. So we have found her. Let's restart our game, and then we can go back. Let's get to App Inventor and make that. All right, so I'm already in the MIT App Inventor and I have got my pictures uploaded already. And first of all, I'm gonna try and make our banner. Uh, our banner has an image and then two labels displaying our, our app name and instructions, right? So first of all, let's get an horizontal arrangement so that we can put our components side by side. And uh, I'm gonna name it as banner HA. And I'm gonna set its height to 20%, and uh, width is gonna be fill parent. Okay, that's perfect. Next, I'm gonna need an image component. For that, I'm gonna have to come into use interface and click on image and drag it. Uh, I'm gonna name it as icon img, and I'm gonna set its height to fill parent and uh, width is going to be 40 percent okay that's perfect next we're going to have to use our image and then i'm going to come into pictures and then click on uh, kitten and choose file okay and then i should see my picture in it. that's perfect now we're going to need a vertical arrangement component because we want to display our app name label and insertion label vertically so I'm going to go into layout and uh, get vertical arrangement. I'm going to name it introduction label and I'm going to set its height to fill parent and width to fill parent. Okay. Now we're going to need labels. One for the app name and the other one is for the instructions. So I'm going to get this label, I'm going to name it app name label, app name label and uh, I'm going to ch change its font size to 24 and I'm going to make it bold and uh, its height is going to be automatic and its width is going to be fill parent. Okay, and in, in for text, I'm gonna say hidden, hidden. Okay, now we're gonna need our second label. So I'm gonna click on label and drag it. And this one is gonna be our instruction label. Then I'm going to come into its uh, property, then I'm going to change its width to file parent. And I'm going to type go to place plus go to different places and find. So we are done with our banner. Next, we're going to have to use buttons to display different places. So I'm going to come into interface and get button one two and button three the first one is going to be a house button so house btn and um, set its height to 20 percent and width to 40 percent and i'm going to remove the text in it and i'm going to display an image of our house Perfect. Next is going to be our car. So I'm going to rename it as car BTN. The properties are going to be very similar. I'm going to set its height to 20%. It is going to be 40%. And I'm going to remove the text in it. And then the image is going to be on the car. 
fire. So fire. Perfect. And the last one is going to be a path. So park btn. And uh, let's start with the height. Let's set it height to 20%. And it is going to be 40%. Those text is going to go away, and the image is going to be of a park. Okay, that's perfect. Lastly, we're going to need one more button, which is going to be our restart button. So, we're going to get one more button component and drag it to screen. I'm going to name it as Restart PTS, and then the text is going to be Restart. But then you guys might have noticed that our buttons and places are towards left hand side. In order to change them to the center, I'm going to go back to screen one and align horizontal is going to be changed to center three. That's perfect, right? At last, we need a text to speech component because we want our app to speak. Uh, we can get that from media. Uh, it's going to be text to speech. And that's it. We have our banner and then we have our places to hide, our restart button. All right, good to go to blogs. All right, so I'm already in the blog side. And uh, the first thing that I'm going to try and do is make my restart button invisible when I start the app. So when do we start the app? We start our app when screen one initialize. So I'm going to look for a blog that is when screen one dot initialize then uh, what component do i want to make invisible i'm talking about my restart button so restart button and get any of these set blocks and then make it to visible and then of course i'm going to set it to false okay so this block is going to help me make my restart button visible equals to false when our app starts. Once our app has started and uh, if we click on our house button we should either see the inside of the house or we should either we should see our kitten. So how do we do with that? In order to do that we're gonna have to come back to our house button and get when house button dot clicked. Okay and now we want to change the image of it so we're gonna get any of these set of blocks and choose image. Okay, and now we're gonna have to um, input the name of the image that we're trying to display. So we're gonna have to choose this blog. But because this time we are trying to uh, choose between two images, we're gonna have to uh, get this blog twice. And in here, I'm gonna get the inside of the house is gonna be house inside dot jpeg. So house inside not jpeg and this one is going to be a kitten it's going to be kitten dot jpeg it's going to be kitten dot jpeg perfect normally if we um, stick these blocks together we should be able to see a house inside dot jpeg but because this time we want to choose randomly from these two images uh, we're gonna have to use a new component that we are trying to introduce which is gonna be in lists and it's gonna be a pick a random item list blog okay so the functionality of this blog is that it helps you pick randomly from the items all right so we have these two pictures and this blog is going to help us uh, pick randomly sometimes it's going to choose the house inside other times it's going to choose kitten okay then we can pick this one and stick it together but then um, there's a very important word in here which says lists um, so this blog can help us pick items randomly but it can only pick from a list so in order to do that we're going to have to make a list of these two blocks how do we make a list in Avenant? 
you're gonna have to come back to a list and uh, get the second blog which is make a list this blog is essentially gonna help us make the list that we're trying to make so it already has like two slots so we can stick our blocks together right now we only have like two images and it had two slots originally so we are good but if we had like let's say three images to display and we wanted to pick randomly from them then we could have uh, come into its setting and get this item block and drag it towards item side and then we could have uh, had uh, one more slot and we could continue again and again next we need to know if the user can find the kitten in this place and in order to do that we need to know the current image of the button uh, also we are going to use uh, property setter and getter blocks what do i mean by property setter and getter blocks let's say we are talking about our house right and then we have uh, we have blocks with two colors dark green and light green dark green blocks do have word set so they are going to help us set something for example this particular blog is going to help us set the background color so these are set blocks next we are going to talk about our get blocks other than these the other kind is uh, going to be our light green blocks for example if i get uh, this blog uh, it doesn't come up with it doesn't come with the word the other kind of blocks are um, light green so for example if I get this block uh, this one does not come with any word not word of set nor with get so this is a get block uh, this block is going to help me get the image of house button so let's the other blocks are uh, get blocks these are of light green color and they do not come with set all right the other blocks are get blocks for example these are these are light green blocks right these are get blocks so if i click on house button dot uh let's say image so this but this block is going to return me the image that is currently being displayed in button one so i want to compare this block with curtain dot The other blocks are get blocks. For example, if I come into house button and I click on any of these light green blocks, uh, if I choose this and then choose image from in here, okay. So this Im this block is going to return the image that has been currently displaying in house button, all right. And because we want to compare the current image with kitten dot jpeg, we are gonna compare these two. We don't need this, and uh, in order to compare these two, we're gonna be using a logical operator. Uh, the other kinds of blocks, the other blocks. others are called get blocks so for example if i go to house button and scroll down and click on any of these light green blocks and uh, let me choose an image okay so so this blog right now is going to return me the image that is currently being displayed in house button and because we want to compare 
the current image of house button with kitten.jpg, we are gonna compare these two blocks. We don't need this for now. And I'm gonna go into logic and get this equal sign. So if this blog is equals to this blog, then our, our app should speak. But then we need um, one more block, which is if then. So it's gonna be control and if then the first block, I'm gonna get it and put it in house button. So if the condition is this one, if this condition is true, our app is going to speak. So in order to make our app speak, we're gonna to have to use text to speech. And I'm gonna get this blog and put it inside. And now I'm gonna to have to just type in the message that we want our app to speak. So I'm gonna to have to go into text, get the empty blog and say, um, good job. Uh, you, you found the kitten. Okay, perfect. So if we have our house button image equals to kitten.jpg, then our app is going to speak. But then there's one more thing that we want to do. We want to make our restart button visible because then we want to allow the players to restart their game, right? Then I'm gonna say restart button. And then because this, this time we are gonna use set block because we want to change something. And then I'm gonna say visible. And then it's gonna be true. And it's gonna go inside. Okay, so if house button dot image equals to true, then the app is going to say something and our restart button is going to be visible again so that the players can restart. All right, let's pause here for a second and take a look at our app. Um, as you guys can see, we have our images being displayed very nicely. And because we have only coded for house button, I'm gonna click on house and see how it reacts. Good job, you found the kitten. Okay, that's perfect. We were able to see the kitten and the inside of the house. Now we can continue with our car button, but we can just duplicate the entire block and uh, just replace it with car button. And then this one's gonna be car button, pick a random, and then this one is gonna be car inside. Okay, so when car button is clicked, we are going to set the car image to either of these, and then is if is uh, car button image equals to kitten, good job, we have found the kitten, perfect. And then we can again copy the entire block and then we can just drag it down and this time we'll be looking for our kitten in the park and then we'll change the image of a park button pick a random make a list and then it's going to be park inside let's make let's double check it's going to be park inside and then kitten is going to be the same and then park and then equals to kitten.jpg and then you have done a good job and we are going to restart button okay so we are done with our blocks let's take a look at our final product um so we have our images being displayed and uh, let's press on house good job you found the kitten okay let's try and restart okay this time i'm gonna press on car there's an inside of it. What about the park? Good job. You found the kitten. Okay, so our app works very well. All right, let's do a bit of recap for today. First thing that we learned is pick a random item block, a block that helps us pick randomly from a list. Second, we learned about property setter and getter blocks. Property setter helps us set the properties, and property getter blocks helps us get the blocks. All right, that's it for this tutorial today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.